At a media briefing in a Nairobi hotel, NASA's James Arango released a document purporting it to be the results of the August 8th general election, claiming that the opposition won. Orengo, however, could not explain the validity of the document as he kept mum when pressed to reveal the means with which they acquired the results from the IEBC servers. All that I can say is that this information is from the server and it is authentic. And the only way you can rebut it is by ABC producing information from the server. And in a quick rejoinder, IBC Acting Chair Consulat Ankatha Minor refuted the claims by NASA, terming them a myth and a deliberate effort to create a non-existent reality about the polls. IBC further stated that NASA's presentation displayed incorrect understanding of the results pathway and the servers, calling on Kenyans to ignore the details from NASA as non-factual. NASA's claim come four days ahead of the planned swearing-in that today continued to receive criticism from different quarters. Chief Justice David Maraga distanced the judiciary from the ceremony, terming it as political battles that are beyond his jurisdiction. Those are political issues. <laughs> as a court, as, a, as a, the judiciary, we address political issues when they are placed before us as legal issues. That's when we deal with them. The others uh, about what, uh, what the politicians are doing, that is their, 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 their sphere. We don't interfere and we don't want to comment. Why don't we want to comment? Because we, you can comment on matters which are going to come before you and you will be told you have taken sides. We don't want to do that. Maindeleo Chap Chap leader and Machakos governor Alfred Mutua also weighed in on the planned ceremony, terming it a recipe for civil war. Please, please forget these shenanigans and let us get back into the program of developing our nation. Victor Miyakane, Channel 1.